Alright guys, it's here and with water cycling again. I just got a full tick and gas, so we're gonna go riding. It's 50 degrees out. Um, so a couple things today. I don't know if you guys have seen my unboxing of my new shocks for this bike. They're the Progressive 4444. Let me show them real quick. There they are. Right here. So trying those out today. And um, I also have a new fuzzy thing for my mi microphone. And um, actually, in this suggestion, uh, this fuzzy thing is actually suggested it to me by Triple uh, X Deadhead, and so I'm going to try that today. More gravel. <laughs> and so I'm going to try it out today to um, for some wind noise. So. So those are the two things I'm trying out today. Um, and also, my riding buddy is in town, Mr. Magoo. He's in town, he came in on Saturday. He started up his bike and it started up very well. So I'm on my way to his house to try and get him to come out. It is 50 degrees right now, or 52 or something, and the sun is out, and um, and uh, so I'm trying out these shocks to make sure if they're any good. Um, I have to say, they are a little bit better already. They're the same, same stock height. They are 11 inches, just like the uh, stock ones. Um, so I didn't really get ones that are much taller or anything, uh, but I'm a pretty short person, so I'm not going to get anything taller than 11 inches. So, number one, number two, uh, hopefully this fuzzy thing is blocking the wind noise, or some of it at least. And then uh, number three is I'm going to go meet up with Mr. Magoo. Now, uh, Mr. Magoo is my father-in-law, if you guys are wondering who that is. He's, uh, he's been riding for a very long time, and uh, his daughter called him last night and asked him if he wanted to go out riding with me today. And he said, oh, well, it might be cold out. And uh, so he's very sensitive to cold. So this is considered cold to him. Um, but uh, what I usually do is when he says that, I still go over there. I don't tell him. I haven't called him and told him I'm coming. Um, I still go over there and uh, I just show up with my bike and I rev, uh, I open the throttle a couple times. I rev the engine a couple times uh, to try and get him to come out. Uh, it worked last time. So I don't know if it's going to work this time. But we will see. Uh, we'll definitely see here. So uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a green arrow at this. But yeah, so hopefully, um, hopefully he's going to come out. Um, it would be nice. So yeah, that way you guys can see his bike and you can see uh, what he's been riding around in. Um, I believe it's a 1999 Honda Valkyrie. Oh, we do get an arrow. Very cool. Um, it's red and black, so it's pretty spiffy. Uh, um, um, so it's a it's a touring bike. It's a mid-sized touring bike. It's uh, a little bit smaller than the Honda Valkyrie. But it's a very comfortable bike nonetheless. And um, well, I've only sat in the back of that bike. I haven't sat in the rider seat, the driver's seat, so I don't really know. I, that thing is just way too big for me. But anyways, so hopefully he'll come out so that you can see that. Oh my God, these shocks are so much better already. This road is so bumpy, and I can feel the difference already. Wow. Normally with the stock, with the stock shocks down this road, uh, it bottoms out. And uh, this is on the, I haven't adjusted the settings on this yet. I just 
I left it with the same settings. Uh, I left it with the default settings that came from Progressive. I haven't adjusted it yet and it's not bottoming out. So, I mean, I'm still bouncy, of course. Um, but, um, But yeah, that was really, really good. That was a huge difference already uh, in between the progressive shocks and the stock shocks, so that's good. <clears throat> I mean, it's really hard to have a big difference when, uh, you know, when I go and buy the same, same length. Uh, there, you know, I, I still bought the 11 inches instead of uh, anything, you know, instead of 12s or, or 13s. Uh, so for the taller riders, like the six foot, you know, riders and up, they probably should look, take a look at something bigger than that. Or if, you know, and I'm only, I'm 140 pounds, so I, I don't need a 12 or 13s on this. <clears throat> oh, that felt really nice actually. Over those uh, railroad tracks there. All right, I keep smelling something burning, so I hope that's not my bike. But uh, we are now in Mr. Magoo's neighborhood and on our way to Mr. Magoo's house. Hopefully he will come out and play. That would be neat. I actually redid this part. It used to be really bad and bumpy, but now this is really nice. So. We'll see what he says here. Hopefully he'll come out and we'll go get a hot dog or something. Wouldn't that be neat? <laughs> oh my god, holy gravel. Slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, hmm. I don't want to go in that driveway. You can see that driveway was pretty. Uh, I'm actually just going to take my time around this thing here. So what I do is I just go up to the mailbox, put in neutral. Uh, if I can find neutral, why is it so difficult? And then uh, rev the engine a little bit. And uh, I don't know if he's home or not. <laughs> so this is what happens when you don't call your riding buddy before you come over. They might not be home. Oh man. All right. It doesn't look like he's home. I'm gonna go inside and see uh, if he's home. Oh. Alright folks, I am back. Finally found Mr. Magoo. Um, turns out he was out running errands. Um, if you hear the sound, there's the sound of his bike. The Valkyrie. Um, yeah, he was out and about running errands. So he finally came back. And uh, we're gonna go riding now. The sun is now up. It's about 11.30, 12 o'clock or something like that. So now the sun is up and uh, I am recording. I don't know if you can see me here with my little football. Um, but yeah, so um, I finally convinced him to come out. He says he's got so many things to do, like uh, open up his pool and all that stuff. But I just told him, like, you know what? Let's just go get a hot dog. And so he's decided to come out. Here he comes. Oh, embrace yourself. He's got a really bright helmet. Um, and here he, here we go. And um, and so basically, that's Mr. Magoo. 
So, here we go. <coughs> and, um, oh man, I hate going. This is a big hill coming up here. I guess we're going this way. <clears throat> Let me get through this busy intersection first because this is crazy over here. Riding with Magoo, let me tell you, riding with Mr. Magoo, um, he can't stay still in the lane, so it's really hard to ride staggered with him. So as you can see here, he's in, right in the middle of the lane, and uh, I really don't know where to go. Um, but yeah, this is what it's like riding with him, so of course when the FedEx trucks arrive, he goes on the outside lane. And uh, so yeah, anyway. Uh, so I think it's kind of funny riding with him, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm glad that we're out on the bike riding around, just being silly. And then after this, we're going to go back. All oh, these progressive shots are definitely really nice. But I do like the fact that his helmet is a lot, uh, uh, a lot brighter. He used to have a black helmet. It's hard to see him, but I, we can definitely see him in this one. So that's good. So some update with my riding buddy. Uh, I was right. He's definitely not coming back. So he's going to be here for two weeks. I'm going to try to get as many rides in as I possibly can with him. Uh, he's actually going to ship his bike. That Valkyrie that's in front of us right now. Along with his other bike, he has two bikes. He also has, I think, an 89 Yamaha uh, Venture. I think it's an 89, or it's an 83. Holy crap. I think maybe it's an 83. Whatever. Regardless, um, it's a very, very old Yamaha. And he is shipping both bikes down to Tennessee because next year him and his wife are going to be uh, his wife will retire next year and they're going to stay down there uh, they're going to move down to Tennessee so it'll be nice for them to retire down to Tennessee but yeah so now I definitely uh, am correct about not having a writing buddy uh, so it'll be interesting in my adventures to find a writing buddy now I do plan on uh, taking this bike down to Tennessee at some point to visit them on the bike. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it when my spouse has a car uh, following me down or we're going or if we're going to go on the bike together. So it'll be interesting. It's a 10 hour ride. That's going to be a little tough on a sportster. <laughs> but I, uh, you know, we might take three days to do it. I don't know. But uh, I just, I would just, I would just really like to try and see if we could take the bike on the road trip. So on that note, I'd like to know uh, all the sports riders out there, what's the farthest you've taken your sporty uh, and, and how did you pack the sporty? I, I'm very curious and, and, and what did you think of it? What did you think of taking the sporty on a long trip on your long trip that you had? Um, the longest trip I've taken on my bike is three hours, so definitely 10 hours is definitely a haul. Three hours was a huge ordeal already, so I don't know uh, if if 10 hours is going to be, <clears throat> you know, 10 hours is going to be a good thing or not. But it'll be interesting to see. So we will see. Alright, so yeah, I would like to know what you, uh, all the cruiser bikers and uh, 
you know, if you have a sports star, great. I love to hear your uh, comments on. Now, see, now he's on the left hand side, and now I want to go on the inside. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments as to. as to uh, how your trip was on the Sporty. Hey, there's a couple bikers out today. It's a big day and they're out, so that's a good thing. <coughs> oh, yeah. uh, I have to say, these progressive shocks are definitely a lot better down this part of the road than my socks were. Uh, yeah, the bike is still bouncy. It, it, it might be the fact that I'm a lightweight on this bike, so of course I'm getting bounced around. But it's not bottoming out, so I'm telling you this is really good. I, uh, I'm enjoying the shocks on this right now. My butt feels a lot better because since the bike doesn't bottom out oh, at those... Ooh, that was a pothole. Uh, at those holes, that uh, I don't feel like a sheet of metal going up my butt. Or just a whole entire frame, metal frame going on my butt. I'm uh, actually, it's actually very cushiony. The bounce, excuse me, I'm sorry, I just burped. Oh my god, that was so gross. My apologies. But um, obviously, the bike is, you know, the sh suspension travel is not much to begin with because this bike is so low to the ground. So I am going to get tossed around, but it doesn't bottom out. And I think it's because the way the progressive shocks are done. So this is great. I'm actually enjoying this. Um, I might have to play with the settings a little bit later on, but we will see. That's for sure. We're gonna go get ourselves a hot dog. And uh, see how this goes, huh? What? I think it's lunchtime or something. I know, it's... I can't remember this last time it was this packed. I was gonna hit that exit for 59. Uh -huh. Then it was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your well, blinker... We'll find our way there. Yeah. Oh. I thought that you purposely missed it to go the long way around. Huh? I thought you purposely missed it to go the long way around because you said to go the long way around. I'm like, oh, he's really, me he meant it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't kidding when he said long way around. Like, oh, well. You like your little camera there, huh? I do. We'll see how it turns out. Have you got in the phone that thing? What? Oh, it's a fuzzball for the microphone. Huh? It's a fuzzball for the microphone to block out the wind. <laughs> yeah. 
like I said, we'll see how it turns out.